आम आदमी पार्टी इज नाउ क्वेश्चनिंग बीजेपी एंड शोइंग नेम ऑफ शरद चंद्र रेड्डी विथ मी इज आम आदमी पार्टी स्पोक पर्सन जैसमीन शाह जैसमीन वट इज दिस लिस्ट एंड वट आर यूर क्वेश्चन टू बीजेपी we have raised some very important questions to the bjp in relation to the alleged delhi liquor scam uh for the last 2 years ever since ed cbi and all the agencies have been investigating this scam in delhi uh, we've been asking the question wh- where is the scam where is the money of the scam where is the evidence but we have found no answers from anyone neither ed has answers nor bjp hmm. there are only allegations but now over the last 2 to 3 days hmm. some huge exposes and new data and information has come in the public domain and that is not due to us that is not due to ed that is because of the election commission of india and the data on electoral bonds which has been made public on the election commission website mm-hmm. now you asked what is who is sharad chandra reddy sharad chandra reddy is the missing link in the so called or the alleged delhi liquor scam mm-hmm. when mr arvin kejriwal was arrested a few days back his entire arrest was on the basis of a statement given by an approver in this case who was earlier an accused his name is sharad chandra reddy but now this data from the election commission website shows that sharad chandra reddy also happens to be one of the biggest donors of the bjp who has donated around 60 crores rupees to the bjp in the last 1 1 and 1/2 years hmm. so it's very important to understand uh, what has really happened who is sharad chandra reddy and i'll explain it in a couple of minutes Sharad Chandra Reddy was one of the liquor uh, businessman who uh, used to operate a few vents uh, he had some license to operate uh, liquor shops in Delhi mm-hmm. on 10th November 2022 he was arrested by the ED mm-hmm. at that time he had very categorically stated that i do, have never met arvind kejriwal and there's no question of bribing anybody to get any favors okay. but ED arrested him now immediately after the arrest on 10th november on 15th november now it turns out because this data has been put in public domain only recently it turns out that on 15th of november sharad chandra reddy through his company aurobindo pharma gave 5 crore rupees to the bjp hmm. the matter doesn't end there for 6 months sharad chandra reddy was put in jail hmm. he was still arrested he was not given bail and the reason was he held to his earlier statement that i have nothing to do with this case i do not know arvind kejriwal but and he even went to the court and even said to the court that i am being pressured hmm. you know there is force being put upon me to sign predicted statements but he did not get bail after being in jail for 6 months he gets tired and says i have remembered now that i met arvind kejriwal so he completely changes his statement hmm. after which bj uh, ed starts supporting his bail application allows him to get out on bail and he immediately becomes a government approver in june 2023 okay. the final Uh, uh information which has now come in the public domain is that he gave 5 crores in november 2022 in november 2023 more four or five months after he was out of jail he gave on 8th november 2023 he gave 50 crores of electoral bonds to bjp to three companies now this is the data that we have printed from election commission website this is not our data any of your viewers can go and check it 73 entries made through three companies of uh, sharath reddy uh whereby he has given a total of 60 crores to bjp so the question is very important i mean at some level it explains now what was going on in a matter where bjp has implicated and put five uh, or four uh, top leaders of aam aadmi party in jail uh, in the delhi liquor scam and they but they have never been able to show a single rupee of recovery or any money trail today it has become clear that a person called sharad chandra reddy who the ed calls as the kingpin in this entire matter who's orchestrated this lobby of liquor people mm-hmm. has actually given money and that money resides in bjp's accounts no but uh, question is that you have proof and now you have data of election commission are you going to court or are you going again to election commission that this is the proof and uh, we demand justice uh, not election commission we will definitely go to the courts because the matter is sub judice it is being heard in the courts mm. the reason why this data has not come in public domain earlier mm. is because bjp and all the agencies including sbi finance ministry election commission have stalled the release of electoral bonds data we thank the honorable supreme court it was only because they passed very severe dile- directions and pulled up all the agencies that this data has now in public domain and and this has happened only two or three days back so we will certainly share this data with the courts this solves all the answers as to who organized this entire lobby and who benefited from this lobby and how 
Mr. Arvind Kejriwal is nothing but a political prisoner. He is paying the price for speaking against Mr. Modi. But, uh, now you did a press conference and asking question to Bharti Janata Party. What are your question and uh, what are you seeking from BJP? Uh, look, you know, for the last two years, BJP has been saying that there is a money trail that exists mm. in this entire scam. And we will find it soon. They keep saying we'll find it soon, but they've never found it. N not a single rupee has been traced to any Aam Party leader or minister. After this data has come out in the public domain, and we have done our last press conference more than 24 hours back, not a single response has come from BJP. At some level, that means that they are accepting that, yes, they have taken 60 crores of rupees from the kingpin of the Delhi liquor scam. Uh, and therefore, we want them to make this information completely public. We have asked them only three questions. First, we have asked, what is your relationship with Sharad Chandra Reddy? Right? How do you know? I can, you can give me as a political party maybe 1 lakh rupee, 5 lakh rupee. But if you're donating 60 crore rupees, that means I'm sure some senior leaders of BJP must have met him. Okay. When did they meet? Where did they meet? And what was the setting that they did with Sharad Chandra Reddy? Second question that we asked is that you have taken 60 crore of rupees from Sharad Chandra Reddy. And 55 crore of this is after he was arrested by ED in a money laundering case. Mm. How come you accepted this kind of a money from a person who's accused of money laundering by uh, the ED itself? And the third question that we have asked is that for two years this investigation is going on on the Delhi liquor scam. Why have you hidden this information that you have been taking money and meeting the prime accused of the liquor scam from the ED and from the courts? Mm. So these are very plain, sensible questions. I think BJP owes it to the nation mm. that on a case where on the statement of a Sharad Chandra Reddy, if they could arrest Arvind Kejriwal, then please come clean and explain your links with Sharad Chandra Reddy. So, uh, after arrest of uh, Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal, Amadvi Party has come up with this uh, election commission data and asking question from Bharti Janta Party and explaining who is Sharad Chandra Reddy. With cameraman Ajay Kumar Sena, this is Pankaj Jain for India Today.